Oh. Sometimes, very rarely in nature, something will mutate and we get a very interesting outcome. Now these animals usually don't survive long term, but it can happen. Today we have a very interesting tarantula to unbox. So this is something that I've never actually seen in person. I've read about it, I've heard about it, but this tarantula is showing both female and male qualities. This is gonna be really interesting. This box was sent to us from Amy at Bang Hub Tarantulas. Everybody thank Amy, that was really sweet of her to send him to me. The only stipulation was that I pin him and send him back to her once he passes away, which I kind of offered to do anyway. If you didn't know, my other little side hobby is pinning bugs right now, bugs, insects, arachnids. So I've been doing that a lot with the cicadas lately. And oh, there's a little wild spider running across my floor, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them be. All spiders are welcome here. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's get right into this. I, I don't know what this thing is. Before anybody asks, it's just it's Eric's. It was on the table. I needed something sharp, so I, I don't know what this is. Is this legal? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Ooh, we got stickers. Every day is Halloween when you have tarantulas. Fang hub, trick or treat, smell my feet, tea saladonia, pumpkin patch, glitter. Yeah, definitely check out Fang Hub if you haven't shopped with them before. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. But okay, pin. <laughs> this would be him, I believe. This looks like it. I will definitely be saving this box for shipping. So thank you for that, Amy. Okay, so this is the mature male slash female. I'm not really sure whether to say she or he. I think I'm going to favor he though, because from what I was told by Tom Patterson, he explained to me that gandanamorphism, and I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Because I'm, I'm always, it's one of those words I'm always reading, but like never saying. So I don't know, but genandromorph. Basically, this can happen in a 50-50 split, which is what we usually will see when something goes viral online and it's like a half female, half male tarantula. But it can also split less or more than 50-50. So basically, he said that this spider is showing signs of gandanamorphism, which is male and female traits. However, all of these that exist, they don't breed. Uh, there's, there's never been a documented case of them being able to breed, and also they all do pass away on the same timeline as a mature male. So they will not live as long as a female tarantula typically would. They'll actually have the male's lifespan. You know, that's pretty much the case across the board from what we know. I mean, I'm sure there's tons we don't know because again, this is a very rare mutation. I will warn you though, he might not be alive. He's very much so on his last leg. This is a very old tarantula, okay? I think somebody had them and really didn't know what they had uh, until Amy identified it. So I'm not even sure if they made the trip but we'll go ahead and put together an enclosure and then explore a little bit more we're just gonna be doing a simple enclosure this is a tarantula cribs this is like a very old one I had in the back of my closet so it's probably not in the best shape but I did try to clean it out and just like any other enclosure we're just gonna be adding in repta soil okay that should be good now we will be doing a big piece of cork because this is an arboreal spider. I haven't said the species yet, but I will when we unbox. And I'm gonna set it like this because I don't wanna set it this way and then have them hide with the white background. I wish I had one of the clear tarantula cribs backgrounds with me. This is kind of like an unexpected spur of the moment thing. I did, I did get a little plant, cause why not? A little plant never hurt anybody. And then a little bit of frog moss would be nice. Just do it at the base over here, just to kind of help secure the cork bark from moving around. Nothing too fancy, but I would definitely say it's a nice little appropriate home. Add a little bit more in the back. Although I will say that this species does like to use dirt to decorate and leaves. So maybe we'll throw some leaves in there too. Let's go ahead and add some leaf litter. I also grabbed this rock 
just, I don't know, it just was there. Here is a water dish we will put next to the plant. Just so when I water the tarantula, the plant also gets watered. For mature males, and we're treating this tarantula no differently really than a mature male, uh, they usually stop eating, um, but they will continue to drink. And if you provide them that water, that can make their life a little bit longer. So let me go ahead and just show you the enclosure. It's nothing too terribly fancy. I just wanted a nice big piece of cork, just some moss to help keep up humidity, which is going to be important, especially for an older tarantula. And then just a live plant to make it look a little bit nicer. So that is what we are working with. Nothing too crazy, but I think it's still a nice little home. So um, this is a supposed to be a Samulpeus pulcher. So it's a Samulpeus pulcher, male, female, and you know Samulpeus. They are quite the spicy tarantulas for a new world. They're still a new world, but they do have some attitude, you know, so we are going to be very careful. There's some legs, so. Let me get my, where's my tweezers? I did in fact leave them in the other room. Okay, here's my gummy worm feeding bowl just in case but it does look like they are still alive, which is very cool. Oh boy. Amy did say that they are still a little peppy for being as old and decrepit as they look, so we're just gonna be very cautious today, you know? That's, that's the theme of today. Let's be cautious. So we are still alive. I can see movement. Okay, hello. Now we do seem pretty sluggish, I will say, but I'm gonna poke them. Oh, not too sluggish as you see. That's some pretty typical Samulpeus behavior. Oh boy, okay. We're just gonna give them a minute to get situated, but oh my gosh, I can already see it. This is so cool. Oh my God, this is so cool in person. Sorry, my light. <laughs> so look at the abdomen. It is a 50-50 split. Now Amy was very good at making sure it's not just stuck molt. It is not. It is actually 50-50 split. So one side is displaying male features. The other is displaying female. And then you can even tell the carapace looks different. This is really, really interesting. Oh, oh, we are cleaning. We are grooming. That's a great sign. I love to see that. Look at that. Oh, he's already at home. So it looks like both of the pedipalps are male. So it is not a 50-50 split. It does look like they are showing more signs of being a mature male. Now, this is probably not the best shot ever, but you can see those boxing gloves, the emboli on them. Really stoked to experience, just to see this in person and to be able to make a video and show you guys. Cause I'm sure a lot of you didn't even know this was like a thing that can happen. Oh, so it's just a really awesome treat to like see this in person and be able to show you all. And I will keep you guys updated. Whenever they do pass away, we will do a video pinning them. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you again so much, Amy, for sending them over to me and for us to actually get a good look. I really appreciate that. Binks, my Black Widow plushie is still up for pre-order. You don't have too terribly long, so if you have not pre-ordered her yet, do so ASAP because this is limited edition. She will not be remade again, so if you want one, pre-order now. You just have a little window to do it, and then the opportunity has passed, and she joins the other plushies that you might 
might not have. <laughs> Alright, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram news, probably way too much, it's at tarantula.cat, you can go follow me there, I also have a Patreon, podcast, Discord, a whole bunch of stuff, it is linked down below, I will see you guys soon, let's get into the Patreon pet picks.